Hi, so, after having come up with this conductive ink, I started to think um, what I might be able to do with it. And obviously the uh, next thing that comes to mind is to pen some circuits with it. So the simplest circuit is going to be something like Like that. So we're going to have an LED here, switch here, and a battery. There. And just pressing the switch will light the LED. Not tremendously exciting, but it shows an awful lot of things. We've got to make a switch, we're going to make a lamp holder, we're going to make a battery holder, and all of this is going to be on a piece of paper. Now, although I've done a simple square circuit here, obviously um, the shape that you do is only really limited by what you can paint. Um, I'm not very good at painting straight lines, so what I'll do is mask off the areas with masking tape and paint between the masking tape and peel the masking tape off. So that's my plan anyway. So what we're going to need for this is uh, <coughs> an LED, a button cell, some ink, a brush, uh, ink, brush, paper, and um, a couple of bits of plastic. The reason we want the plastic is, that's what we're going to use for the battery holder and for the switch. The kind of thing that packaging comes in, it's got a bit of spring to it, so we'll paint one side, staple it to the paper, and when we push down, it'll close, when you let go, it'll just spring back up again. So that's the plan. So here it is once I've painted, uh, painted the pattern onto the piece of paper. And as you can see, it's quite simple. That's going to be the position of the switch, that's going to be the position of the light, and that's going to be the position of the battery. Now, to make the switch, I used the top off this. It's just a plastic um, box for paper clips, as it happens, and, and anything will do. If you find yourself a food parcel or a uh, carton or something like that, anything that's got a little bit of spring to it. I just liked the shape of that, it looks like that, and I took a bit of um, uh, masking tape, put it on there and painted the masking tape so that it would spring down. So that will go on like that and a couple of staples and when I press that it will actually form a switch. So all we have to do with that now is staple it into position. And there we go, there's my switch. So I press on that plastic, it closes the circuit, and that's my switch made. We'll just trim that off neatly. That's that. Now, the button cell is a three volt little cell that came in a plastic wrapper, and that plastic wrapper had a cap on it like that. So I did exactly the same, there's a little bit of masking tape that I've painted with the ink. Just trim that off. And then my cell will go onto that big dot there, and then on the other side I will fasten that on there to make the connection for the battery and that will allow me to take the battery in and out. If the battery is a bit loose what I can do is put a bit of sticky tape over it so that the sticky tape covers that connection point there and that will make that connection. And the last thing that I need to do is to attach this light which is a small LED. Now LEDs uh, only go one way around and normally you can see the negative because the lead is longer or on the edge here it has a flat spot. It's quite a small one so it's a bit difficult to see it so it's easy enough to do, it's all you have to do is put it on. If it doesn't light up, it's the wrong way around. Turn it around and it will light up. So that's the way around it wants to go. Now the cell has a, this, all of this is um, positive and this flat bit's negative. If I put it that way up and then try to put my little cap on it, then the cap would touch both the negative and the positive or there'd be a chance of that. So I'm going to put it that way up. So that flat negative part of the button will lie onto my big 
ink dot that I've just painted and then the flap will go onto the positive part of it and you can tell because there's a positive on the positive part of it so looking at this that's going to be the negative so that needs to be the negative leg, leg, uh, um, leg of the LED so again just test it make sure you go the right way around and then match up the leg so it will go that way around like that now, in order to connect this, all you have to do is bend out your legs drop it onto your circuit like that and then I have to paint over that silvery bit, the leg bit there with blobbing ink on it and the ink when it dries acts like a cold solder so I have to paint the ink on there, let it dry Put that on there and attach the cap, and then when it's dry, pressing that switch should turn it off and on. So I'm going to paint that on and then get back to you after it's painted on. Okay, so I've um, blobbed some paint as a cold solder onto that LED and attached the battery. And there is the finished article. So if I press that switch, you should be able to see that light going on and off. So there's a really simple circuit. Now it doesn't have to be that way, obviously you can paint that in any design that you like and you can have your lights lighting up. So here's a better view of that light and if I press that switch, there you go. So obviously it doesn't have to be um, a square like that, it can be any shape you like. I just did a square because it's easy and it's just an example for you to have a look at. And I thought a little bit of fun. So there you go, hope you enjoyed watching and thank you.